let's draw a piston head from here go to sketch click on sketch again from these three planes take front plane <coughs> now take center line okay now take line draw a line drawing this way okay now click on this line click on control click on this line make them equal click on this line press on control on this line Uh, now click on this line press on control on this line make them equal now click on this line press on control click on this line on this line now make them equal now click on this line press on control click here this line select this line this line and this line also now make them equal okay now take dimension click on smart dimension take the di take this dimension point one this dimension also point one now take this dimension point zero zero seven this dimension also point zero zero seven this one also point zero zero seven take this one point zero two okay now go to features click on river boss or base click here yes now we have got first part of our piston piston head now click here press on space bar now click here go to sketch take a circle draw a circle here this more dimension take this diameter is 0.17 ok now go to features click on extruded cut take this dimension 0.09 okay now click on white plane click on space bar click on space bar click here now go to sketch take line draw line in this way okay now take dimension take this one point zero two this one also point zero two 
this one as well 0 0.02 and take this one 0 0.03 okay now click on okay yes we don't need this line so delete this one now click on mirror entities <coughs> in this to mirror click on this line this line this line and this line <coughs> mirror about click on this line okay now delete this one select line join these two points now go to features again click on extruded cut from here through all both ok now click here click on space bar click here <coughs> now click on line draw a line here now another line okay now see now select the circle click on convert entities we have got this circle isolated now click on trim entities trim the parts okay now go to features click on extruded boss or base okay now click here again okay now go to sketch draw line again click here and here also take smart dimension take this dimension 0.1 now take a line click on mirror entities select this line mirror about select this line ok now delete this one ok now take a circle draw a circle click on trim entities trim this part ok now go to feature click on extruded cut change the direction take the opposite direction click ok now click on front plane click on space bar click here now take a circle no midpoint for circle ok skip it take a rectangle from this point to this point now we can draw a circle here select the midpoint and draw a circle take smart dimension take the diameter or dimension 0 0.05 ok now we don't need this rectangle so delete this one this one also ok it's different now go to features click on extrude boss or base from here take it up to surface up to 
the next okay now click on circle okay select this one click on circle draw circle here okay take smart dimension take the dimension 0 0.04 okay now go to features select extruded cut okay now click here go to sketch again select on the circle now take another circle select go to features click on extruded cut take this one 0.04 okay now click on front plane click on mirror click here select this last three parts okay these are piston these are piston head actually so now let's modify this one click on fillet take dimension here point zero one now select this sorry not this one Fill it again. Dimension here is okay. Select here and here. Okay. Now take fill it again. Dimension is okay. Select here in this point, in this point, in this point. Okay little bit modification come in this side click on fillet again dimension is okay now click this point this point this point and this point not not this two actually okay now go to chamfer take this dimension 0 0.005 click here and click here ok these are piston head ok now we can modify this one let's select a material for it go to edit material go to iron take select cast iron get a cast iron apply close now go for enter tools Let's apply color. I think this color is good for this one. 
ओके नाउ अप्लाई अ बैकग्राउंड now go for final uh, final render continue without camera or perspective render usually takes some time so wait for it okay rendering is taking place <coughs> okay our final rendering is complete if you think this video is useful please subscribe my channel like comment share my videos thank you